I hear you guys. Uh oh. I see you guys. You're not gonna toss that at me, are you? Should we try one of the grenades you're asking? Yes. Yo! Ho 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 ho! Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of Night Gate. Now, this one touts itself as a cross between an open world Castlevania meets the modern setting and action of a Resident Evil game. So definitely very intriguing. This one's going to have all sorts of nasty vampires, zombies, all sorts of fantastical creatures for us to deal with in a post-apocalyptic world where, well, these creatures have indeed taken just about everything. And there's pockets of humanity here and there trying to fight back. Rendell, the name every child learns to fear. His blood-sucking armies of vampire mutants waited centuries in slumber. But as the earth warmed, they awoke. Rising from the caves, swamps, and dark corners of the world, they drove our people out of the cities and behind the walls of the Night Gate. They say there's more of them than us now, but we still have plenty of fight left. A lifetime of training has led to this mission, which starts now, tonight. Okay, so we have arrived to Dairytown, or I guess we're technically already here. Curious about our cow population here. We are Robin Ravenwood, 25 year old, Vampire Slayer. As I prepare for my upcoming mission to track down Lord Grendel, I find myself feeling nervous. The prospect of facing such a formidable foe is daunting, but I'm determined to see it through the end. Before I depart from Berrytown, I need to meet with Colonel Alfred Clark to discuss the details of my mission. His expertise and guidance will be invaluable to me as I navigate the dangerous terrain ahead. So there is a customization feature to the game as well. Tank top. Only two? <laughs> well, I, may, I imagine maybe as you progress you unlock more things. Leggings and that's it. We got some overalls as well. Nothing says Vampire Slayer like wearing shorts overalls, I would say. Are you sure about that? Okay. So we're looking for Alfred. Is this for me? I'm just going to go ahead and pocket $250 if you guys don't mind. Or whatever the currency is for this world that we live in nowadays. Out to melee, huh? Oh, yo. We also have a bounty board. Alpha Vampire will give us 3,000. 5,000 for the werewolf. 1,000 for the Veda. And 3,000 for the Delta. We didn't even learn about the Delta. Where is this uh, Alfred at? Oh, this is the restroom. Excuse me? <laughs> what? How? Where? Where? Press C to use. Oh, this is the code from earlier. Uh, what was it? 9512? Did he actually remember? Oh, <gasps> he actually remembered a code for once. Could you imagine? Yo, a bird with a memory is a powerful thing, let me tell you. It doesn't happen too often. A bottle full of antibiotic tonic. 50% of my HP and 100 nourishment. Oh, so we do have to worry about... Yes, we do. Survival basics. Yo! I'm glad we came to storage after all. Robin. Good to see you. Are you okay? The time for your mission is at hand. <laughs> it sounds like you're constipated or something. Grendel is amassing an army to lay siege to our walls. Grendel. Long has he terrorized us. And long has he waited in the shadows from the ancient times. You must get through the Night Gate fast and put an end to his reign. So I guess we gotta do this, right? Oh! I see you just randomly have vampires over here, huh? Not sure how safe that is, but okay. Oi! My friends. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, a curb stomp. Let's go. So if they have a helmet, you can't shoot them in the head. Tricky little buggers, huh? Tricky little... You're right? Yeah, he's dead. 
Why is your uh, why is your eyes green? Okay. I guess maybe you should have seen that tutorial video after all, huh? It seems that green guys, after you shoot them, they're about to die. They might explode and do some AOE damage on you. Good to know. Yo! So they've also picked up weapons, have they? Alright. Alright. Can I tr try one of my toss weapons? Yo! Oh! Yo! Oh. Yo, my dude wasn't going out that quickly. And the, apparently the throwing axe isn't that really that strong, because uh, he survived it. Alright, cool. And we got ourselves a crossbow as well. Another weapon. And canned food. And if we get vamped, we have a cure for it. Excellent. Okay. Could I leave now? Hey, Robin. I hear you're heading outside the dome. Well, mm -hmm. if you head over to the old church, legend has it that the gold cross of Renijo Montoya is there. Of who? Damn, what I wouldn't do to get my hands on that thing. Well, if you bring it back, I'll teach you something new. I do like the world setting, to be honest with you. The bayou. Like, it does feel like, you know, humanity doesn't really exist too much over here, like, based on how we're living and everything, so... At least the world looks pretty damn well built. Get the Silver Viper and get the Gold Finks. That was a bit janky, but, um, it's all good. Press M for the mini-map. So Homeboy mentioned something about a church, right? Uh, nope, no, I, no, I don't want to... Just, sorry, move down. I think it's at the Black Forest. So, let's give ourselves a little marker through there, that's great. Now where... How do I, how do I... How do I turn? Oh, oh, you turn with the mouse itself, and it's nighttime apparently now. I was trying to turn with like, you know, WASD, but no, no, no. Oh god, it's so freaking dark now. <laughs> Maybe I should have rethought about this idea about nighttime, huh? Okay. Well, the light makes it a little bit better. As a matter of fact, it looks kind of baller. This is actually not too bad. I'm not sure about this rain effect. It literally looks like there's something... Thank you for stopping the rain, because it looked terrible. It looked like there was literally like a, a window in front of us that was basically just, you know, hitting, having water press against it. But with that gun now, the lighting effect is actually not too bad. Hello, my friend. Should be enough to bring you down, right? Did you guys drop anything? Is it coming out of the woodwork, are you? Should probably do a little bit something about the sensitivity of this. It's a bit too low, but, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, so we can now fast travel. Perfect. I know it's unrealistic, but at the same time, you know, it's convenience. It's just gamer convenience. You know, let, let me fast travel. It's fine. Don't gotta necessarily leg it everywhere all the time. I guess that's our destination, is it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Let's, uh, proceed. Um... Nourishment. Uh, we don't necessarily need it for health, but, uh, we are getting a little bit hungry there, so let's go ahead and use oh. that. Go down. There's, a, there's an underground, too? Oh, it's weird. Okay, so I was wondering, am I am I doing this myself? Am I an idiot? Whenever apparently you go between screens, loading screens, like it switches back over to the shotgun. And I'm like, I don't want to have the shotgun unless I actually need it. Oh, food! Great! So this is going to be like a little shelter area. Okay. There's some weird fire stuff happening here. No zombies if it means anything, or vampires. You do not have a TNT. What was that? <laughs> that one actually scared me a little bit. So we need TNT for this area. Okay. Oh, daytime. Oh, goodness. God, you've uh, overdone it with the color here. 
Like, can we can we tone down the uh, the cool feature? Can we can we get some warms in here? Cause like, man, this is extra cool mode here. All right, whatever. Um, so that's not it. Let's go check out the one in the bottom, and then we'll check. You know what? It might be the one up there. I know we have a bottom check, but oh, it's right, literally right there. Do we need the flashlight, by the way? Nah. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have a hard time seeing anything at this point. As a matter of fact, it's so freaking bright, it's actually blinding. Well, this is a church. Holy Church established 1929. Empty bottles can be filled with, to create holy water. You know, I would like that over with the axes that we have. Do we have any? Oh, here we go. Yo, yo, hook, hook me up. Hook me up with any empty bottles here. We'll fill them up. Can we use this? Drink this and then maybe... Oh, it's already holy water straight up. Mystic Boomerang. And we have 15 holy waters now that we can toss with X. Great. Go down. Is this like another save area or... So we haven't necessarily found this cross or whatever we're looking for. Oh, no, no. This is a dungeon itself, I think. I gotta tell you, like... You know, it's obviously a, there's there's a quite a big element of jank so far, but I'm overall liking this a lot. There's this a sense of exploration in here, and you know, a little bit of the spooks. Problem with them lads? Wings of the Mother, a painting depicting an angel with wings open. Yeah, you're not right about it. you're not wrong about that. Can we turn on a light? Oh, yes, we can. Nice. This one is Judgment. A painting depicting a demon smiting people. I mean, is he really smiting people? How, how can we tell that? It just seems like he's, like, you know, posing. He's posing for a picture, as a matter of fact. Well, I want some lights. So that's good. What do we have here? A plaque that says, With the flames of angels only may you ascend. The flames of angels only. So you open up. Turn this off. Only with angels. So it should be a bit more angel painting somewhere. All right. You're, uh, <laughs> if we clear that completely or ever, but hey, it'll work. It's it's a very, it's a very uncomfortable looking crouch. By the way, look very stiff. I hear you guys. Uh oh. I see you guys. You're not gonna toss that at me, are you? Should we try one of the grenades you're asking? Yes. Yo! <laughs> I like that. You wanna be cute with your little your little helmet? Alright. You can be cute all you want, but you're still gonna burn through the holy water, my friend. Okay. Keep an eye out for pictures. You guys see them, you guys yell it out at me, okay? very dark here, so it's possible I could miss it. What's this? Oh. Okay. Move aside. Open up. Yo, somebody had a feast in here. Trapped. Daddy has locked us in here. He isn't the same. He said that it was to protect us while he went to look for water. It's been two days and we are hearing strange noises outside. Sarah and Mel. Uh, you mean Sarah and Mel? Why can I use here? What am I using? Oh, something terrible happened in here. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this might be Sarah and Mel. I think Daddy might have eventually come back and not the same dude. Oh, here we go. We can extend. Tonic, all right. Got two of those now. What do we have here? Oh, so I guess if you miss the shotgun at the start from the storage room, you get another one here. Well, I'll take it because I imagine we could sell them because there is a a trader system, if I am correct. We're a state kid. We're almost about to fill up here, so we gotta we gotta be careful with what we're carrying. As a matter of fact, what do you do? Twenty-five percent nourishment and health. 
Is that almost 25%? I would say it almost is, so let's actually oh. use that. Just so we have a bit more room going forward. So the obvious question that I must pose to you all is, uh... Do you think uh, Daddy's gonna show up? He has to, right? <gasps> that ain't Daddy, I don't think. Because if it was Daddy, it'd be a little bit too weak. We did shotgun blast him. Which I was hoping not to. But, I think I realize why every single time it's loading so we can go back to the shotgun. Shotgun is apparently number one, handgun is number two. Which is really weird, because handgun was the first one, so that should have already been number one by default. And then number two on the keyboard should have been, you know, the thing that we equipped afterwards, but, uh... You know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, crouch. I'll keep the shotgun out though, just because I'm a bit worried about daddy making... ...an appearance somewhere. Oh, that's daddy. Oh. <laughs> Yo! He had the- this was a beta vampire. He had the opening in the middle. I was a little bit worried because when I saw it, I was like, Oh man, I think we need the crossbow and I don't have it equipped. So I was hoping that this would like, you know, stun him. Which it did, and it, it literally killed him and stunned him, so... Do we even need the crossbows? No, I think we just toss a holy grenade and they, they go down. Well, so much for daddy. Daddy was a coward after all. Edward's journal, that could be daddy. It's been three days since I was bitten. My eyesight has started to change. I see sparkles during the day and my skin blisters with pus in the sun. I think I will fully turn soon. I have locked my family down in the church basement to protect them from myself if I do turn. I had to cover the cross. It hurts to look at it. God save us. Yep, he covered, and yeah, that's that's just a bell. Oh, that's the cross we were looking for then. Ah, so they covered. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. The Gold Cross of Montoya. A religious relic of the past thought to be lost. You can, you can be vamped when this is in your inventory. Oh, yo, that's actually very good. There's a little, like, weird settlement over here. Then there's something over there. We know that's going to be locked off on the TNT, and there's another little location over there. So before we do... Um, book to Sam. Let's, uh, take a little... A little trip. Not down memory lane, but just a little trip down, uh, you know, probably horror lane, if anything. I mean, to be honest with you, this is, like, very jank overall. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't mean it as an insult, too. It's just, it's just very low budget. It's very low quality. But it's surprisingly really, like, you know, captivating. I'm loving the setting. I'm also making myself a little bit paranoid here because I'm thinking there's something around me, but I don't think there is. But um, for, you know, a lower budget game in the little studio, it's not bad. And more importantly, it performs, it performs perfectly. I'm a big, big proponent of optimize optimization. <laughs> Don't need a crossbow for you. Oh, by the way, I forgot that we have like a melee attack. Not sure how useful little. Okay. Let's try. <gasps> Grab attack. What's happened? Oh, that's just to let me know they're taking a little bit of damage, right? Um... I just wanted to explore, you know? Now we're getting all sorts of, uh... Vampires after us. Here we go. Anti-vamp. About it. Unfortunately, uh, we can't carry any more, so what I'm doing here is kind of pointless. Especially if I go in here to explore, because I can't carry. This is not open at night time. Could be another human civilization. 
Okay, so we have slept the night away. I did not mean to shoot that crossbow, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go and deliver this cross and hopefully the reward will be TNT. What's happening? Is it just loading or? I feel like I was really far away from the archway. It was just loading. Luckily for us, we don't necessarily have to travel all the way back. Would you guys uh, do a little teleportation? Again, that's what I meant about, you know, just, just simplify things if you can, you know? It doesn't have to be hardcore realistic. Wow, you really got it. I can't believe it. It does exist. All right, promise is a promise. Here you go. All right, I'm going to teach you about crafting. Now down there, I've got two items that you can combine in your inventory to make TNT. Now in the future, <gasps> if you need TNT, you can just talk. To yes, me I do. And I'll sell you some. That's done. Come on, can't Let's, you see Let's uh. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm saving our lives, scumbag? TNT. And that. So uh, combine. You just just combine. That. A. A A A. And apparently he said he could, you know, um, sell us some too, right? How much does he cost? Sammy? Sounds like you need some firepower. They cost 50, and we have 750? I mean, no reason not to. You think two? Two for now? Two seems fine. Alright, don't blow your foot off. I'll try not to, Sam. Alright, everybody, unfortunately, as you know, all good things must come to an end, so we're... Theoretically over time here with this one, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up, but before we do so, we're gonna definitely blow a hole in here and see what awaits us behind this, so... Might wanna run, huh, Falcon? Yes. Don't expect the flood of monsters right now, because it's daytime. But maybe at nighttime it would've been a different story then, huh? We've seen how merciless those uh, hordes can need be. It definitely feels like a new dungeon, for sure, too. Is it the skulls uh, spiked out here in the front? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it kind of gives uh, an illusion that, you know, not necessarily good people live here. We'll take a little peek and then we wrap up, right? I'm just gonna give you a peek. Just a peek. Huh. Orsit Tower. Yeah, as I mentioned, I don't think they want people coming in here. I could use this flame for what? Upgrade the boomerang? <sighs> where, where is this mystic boomerang? Oh, it's to lower the amount. Okay, hold up. How does this work? I know I said we wrap up and we will, but hold. Just burn bodies. Uh huh. And that apparently lays that. Oh, there, it's happening right now. <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys. Well, this has been Nightgate. You know what? As I've mentioned, very low budget, very obvious it is. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> what did I tell you guys? All right? You stay burnt. And that's how you basically reset your counter. I mean, I'm sure that one's not going to be restocked every single moment like that. But apparently every few days it'll be restocked. And if you do that, it's a way to kind of delay the horde. So that's going to be your timing mechanic, essentially. All right. As I mentioned, fairly low budget in the game, but um, very good. I mean, mechanically, I can't complain about it. It's janky, sure, but everything about it's uh, surprisingly well made. Want to definitely maybe look at yourselves. I'll have the information down below. I guess I'm going to do that, but um, it's literally a trap coming my way here. I'm Laura Croft suddenly. <laughs>